Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel, okay? I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Okay, so the channel, let me just start with the channeled message. I kept hearing, um, say what you need to say say what you need to say okay so there's somebody here that feels like they need to say something to you they're being pulled in your direction and they want to communicate something to you okay i'm also getting this could be vice versa there could be someone who's waiting on your communication like waiting for communication from your end to them um yeah also before i even get started with that I want to make an announcement, a PSA, if you will, okay? <laughs> um, I'm no longer going to be doing personal readings or Reiki sessions until further notice, okay? I'm shutting it down because I've had too many people not respect my time and not respect my boundaries, all right? Also, I've been seeing a consistent pattern of situations that... I'm realizing the bad outweighs the good. Um, how can I explain this? For instance, <laughs> I've had people book readings with me just to get closer to my spirit because the way I do readings are through video conference. So I see you and you see me, right? I've had people try to do hexes and curses on me while during the session. They didn't think I knew I knew. I've had people that I know that I no longer speak to have other people that I don't know come to me for services just to get information on me, just to see what's going on in my life. And they don't think I know. I know. I've also had people, men and women, book readings and sessions with me just so they could shoot their shot. I'm not okay with that. It's disrespectful. Because the last time I checked, I upload my videos to YouTube, not only fans. This isn't Match.com. This is not eHarmony. I am, this is not Tinder. It's not Bumble. My services are not for that. And please don't email me asking me to send you nudes. I am not, that's not what this is for. I don't, I don't know what type of energy I'm giving off to people, but I, 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 I'm not giving off whore. Maybe I'd understand why you feel comfortable e emailing me and asking me for nudes if I'm out here with my titties out. Like, I don't, no, please stop. It's disrespectful and it's not cool. And unfortunately, a couple bad apples have ruined it for the bunch at this point. Another thing that I've noticed is that a lot of people who book readings are people who are karmic and people who are narcissistic because that's what I've noticed. Some people just want to get readings just to figure out what's going on with the next motherfucker. They don't even care about what they got going on or what guidance they need. Or those who are refusing to move on from somebody that's no good for them. They'll book readings and then not hear. It's like everything I say just flies over their head. And then they just come next week asking the same fucking question when I gave them a valid answer before. Like it just... Right now is a no. Don't email me. And another thing about that too. I I am not. You guys are not entitled to my response. Last time I checked on my taxes, I am the CEO of my own company. 
You are not my boss. I don't know what country you reside in, but I reside in America and I have the right to refuse service. You don't own me. And this is sad that I even have to make this announcement. It's sad that I have to remind people to have manners or to tell them not to cross people's boundaries and how to be respectful. Like, sometimes I think, like, who the fuck raised y'all? I was raised by a narcissistic, alcoholic, abusive mother. And I know better. Like, who raised y'all? Anyway, somebody wants to talk to you. We're going to find out what the fuck this is. Listen, normally I don't say anything. Normally I just keep things to myself. But it needs to be said and I need to I need to put up a boundary. Another thing too is that some of y'all is vampires and you don't even realize it. Because there's times when I'd, get a, I'd be done with a reading or a session with people and I feel fucking drained. And I know I'm not the only content creator that has to deal with this type of shit. Or has experienced this. That's why for some of you, if you're wondering why certain tarot card readers stop doing personal readings, it's because of, it's because of those motherfuckers. The ones that ruin it for everybody else. Just keeping it real right now. 7 <laughs> 11 could be significant for some of you. You guys could be seeing that number a lot. You guys could be seeing 888 a lot. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, what's going on? What do they need to hear? We got the light. Something beautiful, something bright is coming your way. Okay? The light is at the end of the tunnel for some of you. After a period of grief, after a period of a period of sorrow, okay, a period of sadness. It says I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. There's somebody here who's now realizing it's dawning on them, right? That what they had with you is something they can't find with someone else. So, for instance, this could be friends, family members, um, ex-bosses co-workers etc business partners blah 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 there was people here that did not appreciate your dependability your reliability your your politeness your the grace you gave them um the fact that you your giving nature your trustworthiness your honesty your realness they didn't appreciate that they took it for granted they they are now realizing they done fucked up the number 19 is very significant you guys could be dealing with the cusp okay i'm getting from this uh this could be a virgo leo cusp this could be a libra scorpio cusp um this could be a cancer leo cusp this is giving me aries taurus cusp Gemini Taurus cusp, Capricorn Aquarius cusp, and a Sag Capricorn. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? <clears throat> Somebody's realizing, or these people are realizing that you were their wish fulfillment, or they're realizing they're basing their wishes of what of of what will make them feel fulfilled off the traits and characteristics that you already naturally possess. Okay, we have intuition. You're being asked to listen to your intuition at this time. Somebody here could be born in 1992. This could be you or someone else. Someone here could be born in 1998 or 1989 or 82. Okay, someone here could be um, born August 19th, September 19th, February 19th. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be standing in your power at this moment. 
You could be in your full-fledged strength. The number 28 is always coming out, okay? So whoever I'm speaking to, you got you got something really good coming towards you, okay? Whoever this is for. I'm also getting just as long as you listen to your intuition and you stand in your strength, okay? And in your own personal power, whatever you've been wishing for, it, it will be granted, okay? We got spiritual strength here. Number nine, you guys could be seeing 999 a lot. Someone here could be born in 1999. Someone here could be a life path nine. <clears throat> What's behind this one? Yeah, your intuition is fucking strong right now. It's pop popping, whoever I'm speaking to. You got somebody here um, who's very much envious of this. Someone's envious of your strength. They're envious of um your intuition or the fact that you listen to it someone's upset because they can't deceive you someone's upset that you are protecting your energy or you're keeping boundaries up or something but the only people that truly have problems with you keeping up your boundaries are people that are not good for you you got new love coming in for some of you or if you're already with your person, your love is going to continue to grow for this person. Your bond is going to deepen, okay? I'm also getting all the love that you have poured into others. That's also circling back around to you, okay? Love never... Love is a currency. It's an energy. It's a currency. It Energy never dies. So if you're sending out love, that currency is going to be repaid back to you. Ooh, look at this, the devil card. The devil's sad. Ooh, my lord. Ciao. Mm, 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 mm. listen y'all somebody here really needs to con they want to connect with you bad there's somebody here that um is obsessed with you there's someone here that wants to attach themselves to you so badly i don't know child Somebody really wants to work something out with you. We got the we got the eight of coins and then we have the devil card. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're so much in your personal power and in your own energy <laughs> that it's that it's it's um causing someone else to be sick. Child. I'm also getting like someone here could be um obsessively like stalking you at work. So whoever I'm speaking to, you have somebody that you cut off from and they're watching you at work. They could be driving by your place of work or your place of business like a weirdo. Someone finally wants to offer something to you after a long period of time. Someone's realizing their stubborn ways. It's a little too late, whatever this is. What do you got fulfillment of wishes? Wishes? What do you got fulfillment of wishes, spirit? You guys could be seeing a lot of images of a lotus flower. Someone wants to manipulate. <clears throat> Somebody wants to change your mind on what you want. I'm also getting whoever I'm speaking to. You could be a master manifester and you are whatever you've been manifesting is definitely coming in. That's another thing that I'm getting like I'm getting like you got the power is what I'm getting here. OK, you could be someone who's very resourceful. 
intelligent. There's somebody here who's watching you manifest as well. Okay? So if you feel like you're being watched, child, you probably are. Because this is under this is this was clarifying the intuition. Listen to your intuition. Listen to that gut feeling. Okay? Because there's someone here who's definitely watching you. I'm also getting like someone is like dying to know what the fuck you're doing. Like why? It's weird. So some of you might be experiencing even strangers coming up to you asking you um invasive questions. Like you just be pumping your gas or something. You got a rando come up to you being like, hey, where do you live? Oh, do you do 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 do? Like, <laughs> okay, why do we got power? Like the times that we're living in, people are acting weird. I'm telling you, some of you are gonna start seeing people act strange, like really strange. Just be aware of that. Keep your distance. <laughs> you got someone that wants to apologize now because they can't overpower you. They can't dominate you like they wanted to. We got the page of cups here. This is someone here who's very childish or immature. I'm also getting this person that um, couldn't overpower you in some way. Now they're trying to play the victim. They're trying to be like, oh, now they're trying to act like they're the sensitive one. Stop. Yeah, there's somebody here that whoever this person is that wants to come in and apologize. Now they want to say they want to have closure. But this could have been the same person that was had no problem ghosting you in the past, disrespecting you, dismissing you when you had concerns, stuff like that. Now, now that you're the one being like, no, thank you. Here's a boundary. Now they want to play this game. Yeah, someone's rushing in to come communicate something to you. Someone's taking some sort of risk here. This could be a king of coins. <sighs> yeah, this is this. There's gonna be communication that's coming in quick. Or this king of coins is waiting for um, communication from you. I'm also getting like someone's rushing in because they see you as this king of coins empress energy. You could be a very stable, self-sufficient dependable reliable empress like energy you could be just attracting a lot of abundance at this time something could be flowing to you effortlessly okay someone wants to talk to you now because they see your value okay this could have been someone who left you out in the cold or this is someone that you have left out in the cold they want to communicate to you or they want Either this person wants to come travel towards you or they want to communicate something to you or they're hoping that you or they're hoping to manifest you to communicate to them. Okay. This person wants to talk about how they want closure. I feel like with the first card coming out with the nine of coin knight of coins, it's giving me like this person. This has been a long time. You guys have not been talking like the, there there's plenty of time. There, there could have been plenty of opportunities for this person to come in and say something to you or to communicate. But now that you look like this, that's why they want to come back. It's not about that's weird. Someone, this person that wants to come back and they want to switch up their position when it comes to how they feel about you or what they've been saying about you, whatever it is. Um, this person's this their stability's fucked up. They're not doing too good. So just keep that in mind. Someone wants to manipulate something here. I'm also getting like someone wants to come in and act like they're going to save the day for you. I don't know. I don't like it though. You keep getting this me message. You got someone from your past that wants to come back. <clears throat> holy spirit holy angels tell me more what the hell is going on yeah someone's looking at you like the jackpot that's what's happening someone's having an aha moment or they're acting like oh i can i see the light now i see the errors of my ways but that's only because they they know you to jackpot 
some of you are going to be experiencing some sort of unexpected um finances coming through <clears throat> unexpected um lucrative opportunities could be getting presented to you you guys could be meeting new people that are connected to um somebody to help you along your journey to help with the, your business or help with um your love life to help with something child Ugh. yeah someone here is hooked on your sexual energy so the first card that came out was uh the devil card so whoever has some sort of lower vibrational demonic entity on them some sort of sex entity this person they feel like they have to attach it to you or something i don't know something about it is weird okay or somebody knows if they hook up with you that they can steal your jackpot your good fortune that's what they think or that's their plan be careful this could be a warlock or a witch that's planning on doing this to you coming in trying to butter you up be careful please yeah this is person this is a person that thinks you're fucking stupid this person thinks you're dumb they think you don't see them they think that you don't know what they're doing this person could be an air sign or they could have air somewhere in their chart this could be a Leo, this could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra, a Leo Aries. Capricorn. This person's obsessive with you. You got a real obsessive individual that is jealous of you and they're trying to take from you. This is their goal, to take from you. Somebody wants to take your fulfillment of wishes. They want whatever blessings that are coming towards you that you worked hard for, they want to take it for themselves. Someone is, whoever this person is, this is someone that you already experienced them making little comments that, laid, that, that already made you aware that they're jealous of what you got going on in your life. This is somebody here that whenever you had a win in your life and they were around you, they were not clapping. This could have been someone who was even like criticizing it or downplaying it or didn't really have a reaction. And then the next the next week you see them trying to do the same thing you're doing. That's that that it's that person. Yeah, we got bye, Felicia. You intuitively already know to say deuces, homie, okay, to this person. You already know. This person's a secret hater. So you got a secret hater that's trying to come back, trying to butter you up. Listen to your intuition, please. When it comes to this person, the audacity is what I feel like I need to say. I'm also getting like someone's going around saying that you they have date they dated you before or something like someone here is trying to brag about something here you could be someone who's standing in your own personal power you could be in the public eye okay you could be getting some sort of recognition at this time and this is why someone's trying to do this I don't know something about it's weird Okay, you could be someone who's very popular or you could be someone who has a lot of options at this time as well. This could be options in like career choices or options when it comes to like business, options when it comes to possible um, date, dates, people to date. Mm -hmm. This is creepy, whatever it is, it's annoying. Yeah, we have no facts never has the facts make shit up lies so you got someone here who's always fucking lying on you this is the person that wants to come back and butter you up this obsessive karmic individual they feel like they own you they don't look at you like a fucking person they're looking at you like your property did you guys marry this person or what is this like an ex-husband or something or an ex-wife 
this person could have possibly maybe this is a person who's your spiritual spouse or some shit holy spirit holy angels who is this obsessive lover who thinks they dumb this person could have the chinese zodiac sign of the goat note the date or this person's the devil himself or herself we got mirror this person's trying to copy you or this is someone who's attached to someone else this could be your ex's ex okay that's obsessed with you okay they could be trying to copy to be they're trying to be a, a an exact image of you or something we got scorpio this person could be a scorpio or they could have scorpio somewhere in their chart i'm also getting there's somebody here who wants to have revenge on you that's their goal is to end something in your life end your fulfillment of wishes end your good luck end your good fortune that's this person's plan this person is fucking karmic we got karmic scorpio karmic goat karmic pisces or you could be a, a scorpio or a pisces or you have these sign somewhere in your chart okay you know how like mario when he gets star power in the video game and he's like do 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 and then it's like <laughs> basically <clears throat> somebody wants to take the star power your powered energy someone wants to take your power away from you the person who's talking shit making up lies you're being asked to remain grounded you're being asked to protect your energy you're being asked to maintain good vibes only because you got somebody here who they got problems whoever this person is they have problems someone needs therapy someone needs jesus okay we have legal issues it says court judges immigration lawyers etc so there's somebody here who could have lied someone could have lied about you in court someone could have lied to you about to a judge about something someone could have lied about their immigration status maybe this person um said that you were married someone could have falsified documents and said that you guys were you're married on paper or some weird shit I said something about taxes earlier, right? Maybe after you filed your taxes, it showed that you filed single or something. And now <laughs> somebody get in trouble by the law. I don't know. Something like that is going on. Or someone needs to pack their, pa pack their bags and move out of the country. Yeah, we got fed up. You could be fed up. I know I am. You could be fed up or someone else is fed up because they can't they're they're fed up because no matter what lies they tell what type of rumors they start whoever they try to get involved to destroy you to make you lose hope to weaken your this spiritual strength you have nothing works they keep watching you and you just still vibing doing your thing Child. ridiculous it's ridiculous let's get out big bertha and see what we got holy spirit holy angels what's going on We have someone is blaming an STD on you. So somebody here wanna, could have went to court and said that you gave them an STD. Child, please. Or there is an ex that's obsessed with someone that, someone that you know, and they're saying they got the STD from you or vice versa, child. Some, some stupid drama. We got last quarter. Okay, someone's down to their last quarter someone knows that they're running out of time someone here could be broke or spiritually broke we have ancestors want your attention so you got your ancestors here wanting your attention you're being asked to stay in solitude and to just like listen your spirit team your ancestors are trying to speak to you shut off the tv shut off your phone sit there in quiet and wait we have we are solving crimes right here pay attention 
We have believe in yourself. You're being asked to believe in yourself. There's someone here that really wants to stop you from believing in yourself. They want you to stop being this strong. We have forged signature. So somebody here could have forged your signature on some sort of legal document and now this is getting exposed. There's evidence about this and somebody getting in trouble. They get in trouble. I'm also getting something about a missing persons report. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on? We have hidden agenda. So there's somebody here that has some sort of hidden agenda and your ancestors want you or they're trying to warn you about this person. This is someone here who has no, this is someone who is a no empathy, have an ass motherfucker. That's who this person is. Okay. We have gun. Somebody here is dangerous. Okay. This person is also wanting to delete themselves. Okay. Someone here might do this by the way of a gun. Okay. Listen, I'm also getting someone here could be saying that you are depressed or you're in some form of distress so that it could look like them harming you is was you harming yourself. You pick up what I'm putting down. We have check the backyard. So there's something here that could have been left in your backyard that was designed to hex you so you could lose your power or so that you can give up on yourself we got power outage the plug has been pulled you are no longer someone's generator and they are mad about it you put up boundaries in the physical realm and the spiritual realm and somebody can no longer suck from you so they feel like if you they can no longer suck from you okay then they feel like you gotta go. That's ridiculous. We got boss manager is jealous of you. So you got a boss or a manager that's jealous of you. Speaking of which, I was just saying that earlier. Okay. Or you could be a boss or a manager and someone's jealous of you. Okay. We have Sagittarius. Someone here could be a Sagittarius that's jealous of you. Okay. Or you're a Sag. And you're dealing with this. Flip it where it needs to go. You're being warned about a Sagittarius though. There's a Sagittarius here that has some sort of hidden agenda. I'm also getting... Someone here might blame their own self-deletion on you. That's another thing that I'm getting to. We got um, Cancer Leo Cusp. This could be the person that's blaming an STD on you. Or this is the person that has no empathy for your ass. They don't care about your feelings. They don't respect your feelings. We have foster dad. There's a foster dad here that's losing out. They're hitting rock bottom. And they might take themselves out. There could be a foster dad, a stepdad, somebody's daddy that might self-delete. We got playing the victim. So somebody here is definitely playing the victim. Whoever was trying to victimize you and harm you now this person wants to play the victim we have cleanse your space you're being asked to cleanse your space at this time okay someone here could be trying to send you the energy of fear which is false evidence appearing real this is why it's important for you to stay grounded at this time if you don't know what that means you need to google how to stay grounded go on google go on being go on duck duck go We have Pisces, Aries, Cusp. So there's a Pisces, Aries, Cusp here that could be jealous of you or this is your sign and someone is jealous of you or there's a Pisces, Aries, Cusp that gave someone some sort of gun here. This could be a hateful baby mama or someone's trying to say you're a hateful baby mama because you put up some form of boundaries, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me what the heck is going on? We have caring person. You could be someone who's a very caring person. I'm also getting the person who has no fucking empathy is trying to act like they're a caring ass person. But they're going around lying on you. 
It's like someone here with this check the backyard under someone is blaming an STD on you. There's someone here who's pointing the finger at you. It doesn't even have to be about an STD. It could just be anything. Someone here is trying to blame you for something. But this is the same person that has a lot of shit in their own backyard that they need to clean the fuck up. Mother. This could be somebody's mother. Somebody here could be homeless. Or someone here was trying to make you homeless. Trying to make you lose stability. Lose your safety. Somebody also wanted you to lose your mind. I'm also getting the home can also represent your connection with your ancestors. So someone was trying to disconnect you from your ancestors. This could have been your mother, your foster dad. This could have been a Cancer Leo Cuss. This could have been a Pisces Aries. This could have been a Sagittarius. Somebody who does not want you to believe in yourself. Somebody who's mad because they can't plug themselves into you like a gosh dang backup generator. I'm also getting someone here could be experiencing homelessness. I'm also getting what goes around comes around. So if someone had something to do to make you lose a job or lose a home, get you kicked out of a place, this person is going to experience the same shit. We have DNA found. So there's some sort of evidence that's been found here. Someone here could be trying to take themselves out. This is their hidden agenda. There could be someone here who's trying to take themselves out to make it look like you ended someone's life by leaving your DNA somewhere at the scene of the crime. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Someone here could be trying to... Confirmation. Somebody here could be trying to frame you for something. A lot of the chosen ones right now are under severe attack confirmation. And they're really the enemy, is the devil, because that's the first fucking card that came out, is trying so hard to frame the chosen ones, get them locked up, either in jail or a psych ward, or have them end up mysteriously passing away from shit. putting missing per person reports on them and then they end up found dead somewhere random. Someone here is planning to do something like that to y'all. We got um, money made off children. So somebody, you could be this child. Somebody here could have made money off of you because this is under mother and foster dad. So for some of you, one of your parents could have made money off of you. Or they're trying to make money off of you because they're down to their last quarter. They could have an insurance policy on you, which most parents do. They, somebody's desperate for money and they feel like you're their jackpot, you're their winning. Everything coincides. We have Tinder date. There's something here about a Tinder date. There's something about online dating. Be careful about online dating, please. Or whoever this person is that has some sort of hidden agenda against you. This is someone here who's hoping that you online date. Someone's trying to connect with you. Fake marriage. I can't make this up. For some of you, you really have your name somewhere on a document that says you're married to somebody. Somebody who maybe doesn't have um, the legal status to stay in the country that they're in, but you do. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Somebody might take themselves out because they don't wanna go back to the country they came from. We got um, Gaston. This is someone who's very arrogant. This is someone who's very selfish entitled thinks they're smarter than everybody else thinks they're better than everybody else will force to get the things that they want disgusting is what they are you could be a shaman you guys could be dealing with a shaman 
or someone wants to harm a shaman. We got listen, Linda, pay attention, child. We got cops are knocking on their door. So there could be cops knocking on someone's door here. You're about to get the last laugh. There's no reason for you to fear. Be cautious. You have reasons to be cautious and to protect your energy, but don't, don't know you're protected. Don't fear the, the enemy. God is more powerful than these bitches. We have credit, credit score 600 to 700. <sighs> Somebody's mad because your reputation still has a good standing. We have no more tears left to cry. So you could no longer have sympathy for these motherfuckers. You don't care. You don't have the patience for these people. Because they, all they do is they keep playing the victim. They're not learning their lessons. They keep wanting to blame Sally, Joe, and Susan down the street. Instead of looking at their own shit. We have alcohol. Someone here could be drinking a lot of alcohol. Somebody's first middle or last name could start with a U. Or maybe someone's trying to get you to drink alcohol. Or someone might end up self-deleting themselves when they're under the influence of alcohol. Listen, alcohol is not something you guys should really be playing with. Especially if you're someone who's spiritually enlightened. They call it spirits for a reason. We have prosecutor. Okay, so there's somebody here that is trying to evade being prosecuted. For trying to make you a blood sacrifice. It says you were a blood sacrifice. Someone here was doing some sort of ritual on you. Trying to get some sort of life insurance policy or money from you. Some, or trying to take your assets. Whatever you're, you're due to inherit. We have an er inheritance right here. So your assets. Someone's trying to take your assets. If it's not money that was left to you. It could have been a property. A piece of land. A company. Something. Or this could be your spiritual inheritance. Something about uh, abundance transfer. Child, please. Maybe that's why someone here tried to put you in some form of marriage. Some sort of contract. That you're not aware of. We have Iron Giant. It says, you are who you choose to be. You choose. So everybody here made a choice. They had a choice. And they made theirs. Now they're mad because their choice sucked. <laughs> and they're not getting what they thought they were supposed to get. We got 999. You guys could be seeing this number a lot. You guys are starting to begin again. Someone here is going to get fucking handcuffed. In the spiritual and the 3D. Someone's getting handcuffed. Something about the month of September is of significance. Something about three days. Expect the unexpected. Somebody who's closest to you is the person you need to be aware of. You got someone who is near you that you need to be aware of. Something about the next three days is going to be some sort of change here. Or something unexpected is going to happen in the next three days. Some of you really need to start cleansing your energy, taking more spiritual baths at this time. <clears throat> we have when the hate doesn't work, they start telling lies. And that's what these motherfuckers been doing. They've been telling lies on you. They wanted you to be under some sort of persecution. This is someone here that wanted to make money off you. Someone here could be spreading lies and rumors so that you... Never mind. Let me just keep going. Let me keep going. Somebody wants to be in your fucking shoes. Whoever's lying on you, whoever is making up shit, Trying to make you look like a bad person. Trying to ruin your reputation. This is the same person that wishes they were you. This could have been a man. This could be a man that wishes he's a female. Or a female that wishes she was a man. Whatever it is. It's weird. It's fucking weird. Someone needs therapy. Okay. Someone here was trying to plan to harm you. This is what someone's going to get charged with. Premeditated assault. 
Divine Masculine's friend is secretly in love with him. So there's some, there's a man on man situation going on. Like, oh my God. I can't. Listen, I'm a Taurus, sun sign. I have a lot of patience. I really do. But when I hit that limit, I hit the limit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? It says, watching you prosper in your career. So this is somebody's karma, is to watch you prosper in your career. The devil is watching you prosper. Didn't I say someone was watching you at work? I just heard they need to get a fucking clue. We have watching you live in your best life. This is somebody's karma. This is all they could do is just watch y'all ass. Tell me more spirit because whoever I'm speaking to, you're divinely protected. You built, whatever you built is on solid fucking ground. And you have a mighty shield around you. You have a very strong and powerful spirit team around you. And your ancestors ain't playing with bitches out here. And bitches is unisex. That's how I'm using it. We have Grim Reaper following them around for an opportunity. So there's a Grim Reaper following. The, the, the spirit of death is following somebody. Waiting for the right time to strike. This is somebody here who is calling upon the Grim Reaper to do something to you. Child, these people is dumb. We have suffering, stress-related body changes. So somebody here is stressing the fuck out because every time they watch you, they see that you're doing great with your career or you're prospering in some form. And somebody here could be trying to do anything they can to stop that. And it ain't working. So they're stressing out. We have all their tea spilled. So somebody's, their laundry is going to be fucking aired out. The same person that was blaming you for something, trying to make you look like X, Y, and Z. This person got a whole bunch of skeletons in their backyard that's about to get exposed. Somebody he literally could have skeletons in their backyard, like literal ones. We have spell work backfired. Okay. So whatever, whatever the, the energy, because th this is underneath the Grim Reaper. So somebody here tried to send you the, gr the Grim Reaper, the energy, the spirit of death. That's what someone tried to send you. And that backfired. So I just heard, run for a cover, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. We have being used for resources and clout. So this is what somebody wants to do. They want to use you. They want to use you. They want to have the, 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 the chance or the opportunity to be like, oh, I know so-and-so. I da, 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 da. Some dumb shit. So this is the same person that wants to call you bae. I'm so tired of this energy. <laughs> it's gross. This person wants to say that they're deeply in love with you. Or there's someone here who thinks they're in love with you. Okay. This is somebody here who thinks you guys are twin flames. I don't know about y'all. Because I know other tarot card readers watch me. I don't know about y'all. But I constantly am getting emails. And some of you can even see it in the comments. Of people writing, you're my twin flame. You're my soulmate. We're supposed to be together. No. 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 Somebody is in their own little fantasy land. Thinking that you two are together. This person could be hallucinating. Thinking you're in the same room with them. Somebody lost their fucking mind. Whoever this person is. We have doormat in reverse. Someone really wants you to be fucking naive. Somebody's mad because you're no longer being a doormat. That they can step on. They mad about it. Somebody's bald. Somebody's bald. 
We have shake my head. It says let down. It says feeling disappointed, disapproving of a situation. Somebody is so upset by the idea of you being in love with someone else. It's literally driving this person crazy. They're disappointed because they feel like they, can, they can't have your energy anymore. Somebody's just thinking about it all night. This person can't sleep. Someone's unsure about how they should come towards you because they know you no longer are naive. They know that you're on to them. They know that you know whatever the fuck they were trying to do. That's why this person wants to come in and butter you up. I'm over it. Using charm. Be careful of someone coming in being all fucking charming. That's usually a red flag. Yeah, we got badass. You're not taking nobody's shit. Somebody's not used to you being in this fucking energy. Okay, someone knows that you're a force to be reckoned with. Okay. Somebody here wanted you to feel shameful about your past, but I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you've you've made a, you've accepted who the fuck you are and what you've been through or what you've done. So there's no there's no room for you to be shameful of it. You've taken accountability for shit. This is someone that wants to come in. They want to breadcrumb the fuck out of you. And the only reason they want to do this is because they want to dominate you. This is somebody here that sees you doing what you got to do. You're succeeding at whatever you got going on and they want to be a part of it. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a black sheep for sure. This is somebody here that... This could have been somebody here that rejected you at one point. You're going against everybody's expectations. This person didn't expect you to wise up. This person didn't expect you to cut them off. This person didn't expect you to stand up for yourself. This person's this person thought this person thought she was dumb. But this person's actually realizing now they're the dumb one, okay? This person has some weird fetish, okay? I don't know what it is. Maybe someone maybe you know what this fetish is that this person has. Whatever their fetish is, you do it for them, whatever that means, okay? I don't know if it's <laughs> I don't know if it's got something to do with the color of your skin that's their fetish or uh, your, your toes, something, child. I don't know what it is. We got subliminals. So someone here could be online sending passive aggressive um, communication your way, okay? Or somebody here could be trying to call you out for stuff because they don't like that you out here slaying the motherfucking day. And succeeding at whatever you got going on in your life. Somebody wants to tear down your confidence, your strength. Because they're not happy with their own fucking life. Because they're pathetic. Yeah, we got receipts. Someone here is about to be guilty as charged. I don't know what somebody did. They could have done something on the internet. And they're getting caught. Something here about an IP address could be of significance. Somebody did something illegal or tried to do something illegal and they done told on themselves, basically. They done fucked. Ugh. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? We have 222. Two, two. You are on the right path. Balance and harmony are being restored in your life. Okay? Just keep doing what you've been doing. We have end it. It says send love and light. It will disrupt their whole world because they are used to negativity. For some of you, if you don't know what love and light means to send love and light, it means to send someone love energy, send them positive vibes and light so that they can be enlightened to help them find their way on their journey, on their path. So they can continue to grow and elevate and prosper. Okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. So basically, send love and light to your enemies. Send them love. Hope that they heal. Hope that they learn to love themselves. Send them the energy to make them eventually see the errors of their ways. So they can be enlightened. So they can go down the path they're supposed to go down. So they can live a happy, prosperous life as well. 
We have drama followers. It says they are forming a group of followers or friends through drama and negativity. So you got these, you got these weird ass people teaming up together to try to take down one measly old person. They're trying to take you down, baby. A whole fucking group. They all have to, all their crusty ass elbows have to come together, link together. <laughs> link together to try to take you down this is fucking sad we got fake numbers someone here might try to reach out to you with a fake ass number this is trying to get a hold of you through an unknown number i'm telling you protect your energy just like i said in the beginning of the reading people were booking readings with me just to have a closer pr proximity with my spirit right people could do that with phones they can call you, hello. It just takes a simple hello. They can get connected with your energy. Confirmation. So be mindful of that, okay? I'm feeling feisty today. <laughs> what else they need to hear, spirit? You got a partnership on the way. And somebody really wants to disrupt this. You have earned this partnership. You learned the lessons you needed to learn. You have grown. You have matured. That's why the divine is granting you with this person. You passed the gosh dang test, baby. And now you're going to experience some sort of unexpected reward. Now, listen, I, I feel like I need to say, yes, stay in hermit mode at this time. And But I don't think you guys should be exactly in solitude. Because the divine is trying to send you your person. And you can't meet your person in your living room or in your bedroom, or in your kitchen, okay? You gotta go outside. That person's not gonna show up at your doorstep unless he's he works for Amazon or UPS, I can't, okay? Maybe you do, never mind, let me shut up. You know what I'm saying though, so, let me get these. First off, if this person is going so hard, what do they what do they even want to say? What does this person even want to say to them? What do they want to say to them? Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. It says, I can feel when you're sad, mad, happy. I can feel everything. That's what this person wants to tell you. This person also wants to ask you, do you promise you will always love me? This is someone that you could... This is someone you cut off. This is somebody that could have rejected you. Now they want you. This is the same person that hates you, by the way. Try to destroy you. Try to send you the energy of death. We have, I can't eat, sleep, or do anything. I told you, this person cannot sleep. They're staying up all night thinking about you. This is a karmic individual. We have everything I see in here reminds me of you. Yeah, because this person's being haunted. Their conscious is heavy at this time. It's riddled with guilt and regret because they fucked with the wrong one. They fumbled a fucking diamond, a pearl, a gem. Took it for granted. Didn't see your value. Didn't see your worth. Didn't appreciate it. And the door has closed. We have, I know I've never said it before, but I'm so sorry. So now this person wants to say sorry when it's too late. When you have no more tears left to cry. When you don't give a fuck. We have, please reach out to me. What was I saying? This person wants you to manifest. This person's manifesting you to reach out to them. This is a very, this is coward-like behavior. This is a coward, man or woman, a coward. Okay. We have, all you do is lie. That's what you feel like. You feel like all this person does is fucking lie. And you're fucking right. 
I'm also getting too, this person could have been going around telling people that all you do is lie because you out here telling the truth on them. We got, do you, pro again, do you promise that you'll always love me? And this person says, get out of my head. So this is, <laughs> someone's getting haunted by your ass. Karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who's this person that can't get the collective out of their mind? Okay, this could have been someone that you've only, you only dealt with for a short amount of time. Tell me more. This could have been a Capricorn. So there's a Capricorn here that can't get you off their mind. They could have a lot of obsessive thoughts. They could feel like they're addicted to your energy. Therefore, they feel like, okay, there's somebody here that could feel like your energy, like the addiction they have to your energy, they feel like that means it's love. They, they're they mistaking that, their addiction to your energy as you guys are twin flames, you guys are soulmates. Y'all are supposed to be together or something. Somebody's delusional. We got Leo. Somebody here could be a Leo. There could be a Leo that can't get you off their mind. They keep, they're constantly being reminded of you. But this is this person's karma. Tell me more. Or you're a Leo or a Capricorn and you're dealing with someone who's in this energy. Flip it where it needs to go. Okay, I'm not your mama. I'm not your daddy. Yeah. They are thinking about you being in a new connection and it is driving them wild. It is driving them bonkers, baby. Because you do got a new partner or companion coming in. This person wants to beat that person to the punch. This person wants to come in and act like they're seizing the day. They want to be your knight in shining armor. Child, please. I'm also getting like this person only wants you because they see other people wanting you. It's like have your own individuality. Like do, why do you <laughs> this could be somebody who's like a follower? Something like that is going on. Someone's gonna shoot their shot. Okay. And by the way, <laughs> when people try to like shoot their shot to me. Especially through like my services, like booking a reading with me or a Reiki session, you you have instantly took yourself out of the running of consideration because all your actions have showed me is that you have no problem not respecting other people's boundaries. It's red flag number one. Come into my place of business to harass me. No, thank you. It's not sexy. <laughs> holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me what's going on? We have Compass. You're someone who's very independent. You're someone here who's um, following your own beat of your own drum. You're sticking to your chosen path. You got an important role to fill on this earth, and it's coming up for you. There's something here about a faded meeting you're exactly where you're supposed to be okay i'm also getting with this compass it's reminding me of pocahontas where she's talking to grandmother willow there's something here about following your heart we have torch on <laughs> You walking in your chosen path is attracting a lot of attention from a lot of suitors and someone here does not fucking like this. You need to know that you you got a lot of happiness that's coming on your way and, and whoever I'm speaking to, you are, you're lighting a lot of people's torches. You're lighting a lot of people's fire right now because you're in your own personal power and that's attractive, okay? I'm also getting like whatever you've been working on, it's gonna be um it's gonna be worth it okay you're gonna be leveling up as well you guys could be seeing a lot of blue jays i know i have you guys could be seeing a lot of blue jays or a lot of birds okay you're on your way to freedom or you're about to be set free from some sort of karmic cycle or you already are free Okay, you guys can be feeling very light at this time, adventurous. There's some sort of new love. So if you guys are seeing bluebirds, blue jays, 
This is a sign to you that you got a new love coming your way, okay? Or something new is coming in. Okay? Or you're going to get a message from a new love. Yeah, you're somebody here who knows yourself. You could be someone here who's protecting your peace. You are going to be attracting a lot of new friends, okay? With this harp here. This is what's destined on your path, okay? Just continue um, being your true authentic self. Because there's somebody else here who's going through some sort of hardships, misfortune, bad luck. Okay, this is someone you're separated from. This person's imprisoned in their own mind. They feel trapped, but this is the same person that fucked you over in some way. Okay, this person's now stuck in like this um, mindset of bitterness. I'm getting something about seven years of bad luck. Someone's going to go through a, a cycle of years, like seven, eight years of bad luck. Because of what what they did. Whatever curse they try to send you. Hex. Either or whatever lies they told on you. They curse themselves. I'm also getting you don't see this person the same way. Also, if this was somebody here who was trying to do like some sort of mirror magic with you, this mirror broke. Someone here could have been working with water and water ele element, okay? You need to know that you are protected from negative forces, all right? There's a lot of things that are being purified out of your energy because it's time. You guys are being prepared for a major life change and a new life. Yeah, it's time for, <laughs> listen, whoever I'm speaking to, like I said, it's important for you to use your time wisely at this, or who you, <sighs> it's important to use your time wisely and be mindful of who you're, you spend your time with, okay? Because your time is precious and it's valuable and you're here to have, you're here to complete a special mission. You're on a specific path here okay yeah something here about you being attractive sexy you got good news about love coming your way there's somebody there you're gonna have a lot of options of people that really want to commit to you you're looking like you're looking like wifey you're looking like hubby okay that's that's what this person's afraid of. This is what someone this is why this person's freaking out. Someone could have even got so desperate that they try to marry you in the spiritual realm so nobody else could be with you. This is this is weird. Okay, we got lamp. <laughs> I love lamp. <laughs> I can't. Oh, someone's name could be Ron. That's from Ron the the movie Ron Burgundy or I think or Anchorman. It's from An Anchorman. Someone's trying to find knowledge. Or they're spying on you to try to see if you're with somebody. This keeps showing up. Someone keeps trying to spy to see if you're with someone. I'm also getting like there's somebody here that has their eyes on you. And they're trying to gain more knowledge on you to see if they can, if they really, if they're making the right decision about you or something. Someone here could be 51. Someone here could be born in 1986. Someone here could be 55, 47, 24, 46, 43. Okay, you got new opportunities on the way, child. And you're going to be downloaded with new ideas as well. That's going to help you become free. You're someone here who has the key and someone else doesn't. Someone's torch isn't lit. While yours is. Somebody might, someone dangerous, <laughs> somebody's dangerous, bro, somebody dangerous, but the thing is, you don't have nothing to worry about, okay? You're protected by the most high, so don't trip chocolate chip. <sighs> Let's get out the shells.
Okay, let's see what we got going on. Someone's first, middle, or last name can start with a B, a W, a D, an L, an I, an R, a V, a J, an H, a P, a U, an E, an F, an E again, a B, a D, a G, a K, an O, an A, a Q, an M, a Y, an A again, and a Z. Okay, someone here could be from Arizona. Someone here could live in an RV. Someone's definitely on the down low here. This is something that's going to be getting exposed. Someone's name could be JD. Someone's name could be AJ. Someone's name could be J. <clears throat> Someone's name could be Ray. Someone's name is Larry. Someone's name is Paul. Or pa Pauline. Someone's name is Riley. Someone's name is Raul. Someone's name is Betty. There's something here about the bedroom. Something about your bedroom. Okay, or their bedroom. Someone's name is Ali or Allison. Someone's name is Lydia. Someone's name is Eli or Elaine or Ellen. Someone eats a lot of dill. Someone's name could be Bill. Someone's name is William. Rahim. Someone's name is Patrick. Bethany. Someone here could be a Baptist or they could get, someone here could be getting baptized. Or maybe that's what's happening to you in the spiritual realm. You're being cleansed, purified. You're being baptized. Or someone needs to get baptized. I don't know. Somebody wants to be your buddy. Mm. Somebody wants to be your buddy again. Someone's name is Fred. Or Freddy. Or somebody here could be acting like Freddy Cougar in your goddamn dreams. This motherfucker cannot leave you alone. Okay? Um, <laughs> someone's name could be Arwen. Someone's name could be Arlene. Someone's name is Heidi or Hilda. Hmm. Someone wants to come in and beg for your forgiveness. We got the word beg out here or beg for something. Beg for sex. I don't know what this person is going to do. Someone wants to come in and romance you. Someone's name could be Roman. A Romeo. Someone wants to come in like they're Romeo. You're Romeo. Someone's name is Jorge. Someone's name could be George. We got Liv out here. Do you guys hear that? There's a little birdie outside. Somebody's trying to find out where you live. Someone here could wear a lot of hats. Someone's name is Valerie. Or 
Or someone could go by Val. Someone's name is Wallace. Someone's name is Quan. Quan. Someone wants to buy you something. We got the word buy. Or somebody wants you to buy them something. We got we. There could be a whole group of people that want to buy you something. Someone here. Something here about a valid ID. Someone needs a uh, Somebody needs a valid ID. Somebody's realizing that you are rare. We got rare out here. Someone's name is Jared. That name keeps coming out. Someone's name starts with a fucking J. Because this keeps coming out. Someone's name could be Harold. Someone here could be of Jewish descent. Someone here could um, say or claim that they are a Hebrew. Someone's huffing and puffing. Okay. Someone here could be real mad at you. Something here about a ruby. A ruby a ruby necklace, a ruby ring. Or someone's name could be Ruby. Somebody's trying somebody might swing by your home or somebody here could they thought they could trust their homie and they're gonna realize they cannot. Someone here might try to um R word you. We got the word we got that word out here. Someone here might plan to take your sexual energy from you, okay? Without your consent. Hmm. Someone's name is Carl. Earl? Someone's name is Earl? Something's been happening for a whole year. We got the word year out here. Something is ripe. Something is at its full capacity. Or, I don't know. You looking ripe? I don't know, child. I don't even know what that means. Okay? Someone here could be an air sign. Or someone here is having a hard time breathing or... Something like that. We got liar, the word liar. Someone's a liar. Or someone's going to be seen as a liar. Someone here could be a makeup artist. We got an MUA. Someone here could drive a Jeep. Someone really wants to keep you. They feel like they bought you. Someone's about to reap what they have sown. We got the word reap. Someone's name could be Carrie or, or Kira. Someone's name is Jerry. Someone's name is Jim. Someone's name is Darrell. Someone's name is Julia. Or they could go by Jill. Something about some pills. Someone's name is Yasmin. Something is going on with someone's jaw. Or some there's something significant about someone's jaw. Maybe someone has a strong jaw. There's something here about a jar. Somebody here put somebody in a jar. Usually when people do that, they do that to keep someone stuck or isolated or stunted in growth. Okay? Something about your ear is of significance, or someone here is trying to stop you from getting messages we have, or hearing something, getting information. There's something here about a deer. 
You guys could live where there's a lot of deers. You guys could have been seeing deers. Or stags. Right? I'm also getting someone here might write you a letter. We got the word deer, like Dear John. Something here about a coral reef. Someone here could live by the ocean. Or maybe you need to go to the ocean. Something about someone's best friend or someone's boyfriend is significance. Something about a diary. There's something about a diary here. Someone's name is Randy. Something about a riddle. Riddle me this. <laughs> Someone here is trying to hide something. Someone here is trying to hide something. Someone, somebody is going to tell you something, but it's going to be in a riddle or something. Or someone's like giving out riddles, like clues, but they're in riddles. Or someone's trying to tell you the truth, but it's in a riddle. What the fuck is going on? I'm done. Someone's name is Mary. Marie. Someone wants to hire you. about a beer or someone drinks a lot of beer someone's name could be Ariana something about domestic violence <sighs> I gotta go we have 101 says starting over it says happiness is linked to self-expression growth and experience learning from failures is key happiness is real possible and around understand its process and pursuit of it joy is fluid it's in the little things and the big ones fails are fun start fresh okay so whoever i'm speaking to you're starting over you're starting fresh you're being baptized you're being cleansed you're being purified out with the old, in with the new. We have 1919 cycles. It says karma will be paying you a visit. Release the need to control because you cannot force things. Someone here is trying to force something with you. Okay? They're going to get karma if they do so. It says to learn your lessons so that they don't repeat in the future. Make some space for new experiences. Okay? We have 0220. Act on your idea. Okay, it says you have the benefit of good fortune. And if you use your wise judgment, you can do anything. You can do anything. Put your mind to it. You can get it done. It says in this place, you can reach new heights. You should act on your potential when you see this pattern. Since what you plant will grow. You're about to experience a spectacular ascent. This is fucking beautiful. Okay. Listen, y'all. I had to say what I needed to say. Um, let's do... Let's do these. And then I gotta go. We have exploration. It says, if you have become bored with your life, you have the creative power to stir things up and revitalize everything. You can do this by starting new projects, setting new goals, and making spiritual connections. Okay? So, this is good. So, you're being asked to explore your options at this time because you guys have a lot of them. Okay? If you're not happy where what you got going on right now, there's, there's ways around it. When there's a will, there's a way. Okay? We have eagle, vision, hold on to your vision. We have, it's time to look inward with an attentive eye. Allow your heart to guide you and opportunities will never, you never dreamed were possible will present themselves when you least expect it. Get ready for greatness. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're being asked to get ready for greatness. You about to be set free, child. You're gonna, you're gonna be experiencing freedom like you never experienced before. The divine is about to come in and surprise you with so many opportunities, with so many blessings, with so many new people. Listen. 
You're about to take off, baby. We have trust. You're being asked to trust your, your inner wisdom at this time. Trust your intuition. It says, this is a reminder that even if you feel that others do not understand or get what you are doing, it is no excuse to curl up and hide. It says, sure, you may need a little bit of space right now, but the world needs your gifts. You are more than worthy. Whoever I'm speaking to, if you're being called to speak out, share your story, all that jazz, don't be afraid. Do not hide. Don't be fearful of other people judging you, okay? Because people are going to judge you whether you do something positive or whether you do something negative. Whether you look stupid or you did it just right. You're always going to have people talking or saying some dumb shit. So, fuck them, okay? Listen, you're awesome. Don't you ever forget it. We got look forward, not back. Don't look back there. Anybody coming from your past, trying to make their way back in, trying to re do a re-entrance, hell no. Say no. Any negative thought patterns that you had in the past, leave it behind. Any negative habits, bad habits, leave it behind. Okay? We have you are tenacious. And you are so enough. You are enough. Don't allow someone to come into your motherfucking world and try to tell you you ain't enough. You are enough. You were enough when you were born. This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.